yes, okay. Okay, so, so I have right. some other things about changing beliefs because I think that uh, creating your dream and changing your beliefs are similar but not exactly the same because you could work on your dreams, but if you don't change your beliefs, you're not going to get your dreams. Can you give us a couple of pieces of advice yes. on how to do that then? Okay. Well, first of all, I definitely, definitely, definitely suggest daily spiritual practices. Okay. And because I know that what, if I don't do them, then I just pay attention too much to the outside world. And again, the outside world is very limiting. It tells you what you can't do. It's womb and doom and so on. So, you know, maybe having a little bit of meditation or anything of that nature, reading uh, something that's inspirational every day. This gets your, this sets your mind on track. And if you spend more time doing that, you're going to be able to more easily keep away from or let roll off your back the things that people tell you are wrong and negative and so on. But you've got to keep on steeping yourself in the good ideas, you know, the, the masters, the people that you respect and just listen to their words. But these are practices. It's like anything else that you do and you get good at. If you're a musician, you have to practice. If you're a martial art uh, expert, you have to practice. So if you want to get really good at life, Life. You have to practice it daily. You have to make it a priority. It doesn't have to, have to take hours, but you really have to spend time every day getting steeped and centered in truth. So that's my first thing. And I always do, now you can call it statements, statements of truth. You can call it affirmative prayer. You can call it affirmations. But I always, always, always do that to change beliefs because you have to do something active to change what you're thinking. The, the negative thinking patterns that you have have been there for so long and they're going to resist being changed. So you have to do something to eliminate them or get you to think differently. So I always do what I call a spiritual mind treatment or a statement of truth where I'm actually inviting a creative intelligence, a spirit or whatever into whatever situation I'm in. So if I'm in a negative situation, I would uh, you know, sort of invoke that or invite that into this situation to change it. Cause I know I can't change it, but I know that there's something greater than me that is available to me that can change it. Or if I want a greater good, I invite that power into my life to attract that greater good. So that's another thing where you do some sort of statements of truth. Again, it could be affirmations, whatever works for you. Sometimes you may do different things, but also on a daily basis, because remember you're training your thinking. You're training your thinking to be more positive. And it's like an errant little puppy. You've got to train it. So it might want to go here, 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 or here, but you've got to get it to be disciplined. And that's another way of getting disciplined. And then my last piece, which I think I, I've used many, many, many times, and it really helps, especially when somebody is, is facing obstacles, really okay. insurmountable obstacles. And I know I had a situation where my car, my son was in a car accident and for four years uh, I had a lawsuit pending and the car was in my name. And I think we had discussed this. So I, I was in total fear because my financial situation could have been totally devastated because of this lawsuit. So what I do is I remember that spirit is changeless. This is really important for people to understand. And I don't care what religion you belong to. You, you know, you could have your own religious beliefs. That's fine. But, but the universe, the qualities of the universe don't change. So spirit is changeless. Spirit is love. Spirit is good. Spirit is infinite. It is all powerful and it's available to you. And so knowing that going back to that premise, what I did was I remember the times in my life when spirit was there for me, when I was facing insurmountable odds, when I never thought I'd be able to get through it. And yet spirit was there. I'm like, wow. Okay. So because spirit is changeless, if spirit was there in those situations, then it will be here in this situation. Mm -hmm. And so when we went through this lawsuit, it was up until the last minute when we were supposed to go to court and then they postponed it for some reason. And I was in such fear because even though you're doing this, this is important to realize too, even though you're doing all these things, you might still be crippled with fear. You still might be in tears. You might still be doubting, but if you can just get on the like 51% of the positive and the 49% of the negative, it's still enough. But I would, I would, you know, try to, to know the truth and, and, and just remember these things, even while my heart is pounding and in such fear right before we were going to court, they settled, they settled. 
And that's because I had to keep on going back to, no, no, I refuse to believe that that's, that it's going to all unravel now, that my financial life is going to be, you know, destroyed because of the situation. No, spirit was there before. I, I had the universal support before. So therefore, since it doesn't change and it's all good and it's always available, I'm calling it into this situation now. So that's something that I absolutely encourage people to do because what I find is that when they're in a difficult situation and it's so overwhelming and so overpowering and the people think they have no other options, they forget when they have had that support from the universe before. So definitely remember that. That's when you really want to remember it because that's going to have you have help you have faith that you're going to get through it and it will be okay and if you can do that it you will get through it and it will be okay so that's another thing about working on beliefs the, those are amazing steps to take and those steps i think we all have um it, it's reaffirmed what we all believe and it's it's also shown that you know we're all we are pretty much the same we all have disbeliefs no matter how positive we are we face fear 